In this quick example, we're going to take a look at how we can create an accordion using jQuery UI. Now here we have an example of an FAQ where we have several headers followed with some text. In some cases our text is paragraphs, multiple paragraphs, and even an unordered list. In order to properly use the accordion, what we'll need is a div with an ID that we can easily reference, then the accordion widget inside of jQuery UI is going to look for a line of text, such as a header, followed by another block of text. The odd blocks of text are going to be used by jQuery UI to control what is and isn't seen. The even blocks of text will be used to display or be hidden by the accordion. If we want to have multiple paragraphs, for example, what we did was we created a div, and that div has our two internal paragraph tags. This way we can have multiple paragraphs. This way we can have multiple paragraphs that are controlled by a single selector. Likewise, if we want to use a list, it is also helpful to put in a div. Now to create our accordion, we're going to use a jQuery selector, and then we'll simply call the accordion widget. Reload our web page. And you can see it automatically creates a series of headers. And when we click on the header, it automatically opens it for us. Now, one thing we cannot do, we cannot by default collapse the open element. To do so, we'll need to go back into our text editor and add a property. We'll want to add the property collapsible and set it equal to true. Then, when we reload our web page, if we click on our active element, you'll notice it automatically closes. If I click on one and open it, and click on another one that's currently closed, it will close my open one and only display my closed one, just as if I was using accordion normally. However, you'll notice, and once again I'll reload just to show, it automatically opens our first element. If we want them all to be hidden initially, we need to go back into our text editor, add a new property, active. Now active has two purposes. If we give it a number, what we can do is tell it which item do we want to open. However, we can also type in false. And give it a false value when we reload, it says that no item is active and then all of our elements are collapsed. This would work very good for a FAQ, but could work good for other types of pages as well. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.